I'm absolutely gutted. Um, really disappointed. You, know, you turn up today and you you walk out with Ben Stokes and you feel like anything's possible. Um, um, you know, we're bitterly disappointed to be to find ourselves in this position. Um, we've not been good enough for the. You, you, for the sorry, you, you called for a big reaction from your guys. You you asked them to step up and and do better than the last two games, and it's it hasn't come to anything. You know what what can you do next to try and lift this team? We have to stay very mentally resilient. Um, we have to more than anything just keep working very hard at our games, keep looking at ways to get better, and we have to make sure that when we get our opportunities to get ahead of the game, we take them. And I look at that, that first innings. You can look at last night all you want and, and today. Um, but that first innings, we, I thought having batted on that wicket, 250, 270 would have been a very good score, par score on that, on that surface. Um, and when it's, it was doing as much as it, it did, um, you know, you would have been very much in the game and you're looking at a very different game again. I think uh, last night was an outstanding spell of bowling from their, their attack. And... You just got to find a way to get through it. Sometimes you just got to, an hour's hard graft, really battle hard, and, and try and get through that period, non one down. And you, again, you're looking at a very different game. Uh, we knew that going into the day, we were more than capable of getting ourselves to a score with the players that were to come in and at the crease. Um, and it's bitterly disappointing that we, we didn't manage to do that. But like I say, you've got to front up, you've got to make sure that you stay very strong, um, you keep looking to, to, to improve all, all areas of our games. In, individually, collectively, and you have to have a really strong in and believe to, to be able to come back. And, and we need to put some pride back into the badge. Um, and we need to give people back home something to um, to celebrate and look and, and look, you know, look fondly back on from this tour. It's really disappointing to be a three three nil down, but two test matches to go. Um, we have we have to we have to try and make sure we come away from this tour with, with a couple of wins. You, you said a couple of times in, in the last week that you didn't believe Australia were that much better than you and that the, the margins weren't doing you a lot of favours. I mean, do you have to revise that? And, and do you conclude that really Australia probably are quite a bit better than this team? I think they've definitely outplayed us in the three games. We've not been good enough. I think last night they 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 showed their class and they, they were excellent with ball in hand. I, I'd also think that the way that we bowled yesterday was, was excellent as well. With everything else going on around this game, to be able to put in a performance like that, um, you know, I think that was our best day of the whole tour, and um, you know, I'm bitterly disappointed for for those those bowlers because they got us into a, they kept us in the game very much um, with with the way they went about things, and um, you know, we just have to we have to keep looking to get better. Thank you, Joe. Okay, let's go, John Etheridge and George the Bell, please. Joe, there's always going to be questions about the captaincy after a series like this. Are you um are you keen to carry on in the job beyond this tour? The series isn't over yet. Um, We've got two very big games, and it's—I mean, more than anything, it's it's be wrong to look look past that. Um, talk about as a, as a as a player and as, as a team, you talk about the next hour or the next session or the very next ball and managing that to your best abilities, and and that's all we have to focus on. That's that applies to me as well as, as captain of this team. Um, and like I say, we we got to make sure we, we come away from this tour with um, some better performances and and, and a win a win or two under our belt as well. You've genuinely given no thought to your position uh, long term. No, I've, I'm in the middle of a very important series. My, my energy has to be all about trying to win the next game. I can't be, be selfish and start thinking about myself. I, I think more than anything, we've got to keep looking of, uh, to do everything we can to, to get the players in the best possible place to, to go and win test matches. And that's a big part of captaincy. It's, you've got to ready the players. You've got to try and instill that, that belief in every single one of you, uh, of your team and your squad. And um, that's more than ever now going into these last two games. Thanks, Joe. OK, let's go, George, and then Chris Stocks. Good day, Joe. Um, I, I expect that you and Chris Silver would come under quite a lot of criticism and pressure in the next couple of weeks. But what do you think it would take in English cricket, structures of English cricket, all those sort of things, to help create a better test team, sort of narrow the gap between domestic and international? I think that that is a long conversation that should probably be had at another time. Um, I'd say that I think that the best 18 players from the county game are definitely on this tour. And, um, you know, there's some very talented players within this squad. And we, we have to just keep looking to find um, ways of, of upskilling ourselves and each other and managing pressure points within the game better. And I think that's a big part of this game. It's a big part that, unfortunately, sometimes and the... 
where the game's at in our country right now, the only place you can really learn that is in the hardest environment for what is quite a young a young batting group. Um, they're having to learn out here in the, like I say, the, the harshest environments. And um, no, maybe you look back at 2015 and the reset that, that happened in white ball cricket, maybe that's something that needs to be had in, in our red ball game as well. But again, like I said, I think that is a, a long conversation that should probably have with you guys at, at, at another time. So okay. for, for this series. Okay, thank you, Joe. Okay, Chris, Dean Wilson, please. Hi, Joe. Um, Steve Harmison on BT Sport just now said that performance today was embarrassing and that careers are on the line. Is he right? I mean, every everything in that dressing room is better what we've shown in this tour so far. And like I said, we've got two very good games ahead of us. So we need to be ready. And there's no hiding. I don't think anyone will look to excuse us. We all know that we've not been good. Um, we're going to have to show a great effort, strong character, and I believe to, to bounce back from this. That, that's something that we say a lot about. We need to put some right back in my back. Sorry, Joe, I think you, you, your mic went there. Would you mind repeating that? <laughs> that everyone in that dressing room is gutted. Um, you know, that's not a good enough performance. We all know that. Um, we need to put some pride back into the badge and um, and and make sure we come away from this tour with 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 something. You know, that's it's as simple as that. Um, can't really add any more. Okay, thank you. Let's go to Dean Wilson, please. Um, there we go. Uh, yeah, hi, Joe. Um, I just wondered, uh, since you've come into the England team, probably only yourself and Ben have improved as batsmen in that test environment. Why is it you think that no other batsmen actually improve while they're a part of the test team? I, again, I think... Oh, it's all around the environment they're coming into this team. Sorry, we can't hear your answer, Joe. Make sure the mics are on mute, please. That's the problem. Make sure everyone's on mute and then we can crack on. Go ahead, Dean. Ask the question again, please. Joe, I was saying with the exception of yourself and Ben, no batsman that has come into the test arena has managed to improve while they've had access to the coaching, the facilities, the uh, experience within that dressing. Why is it that uh, nobody seems to improve while they're in the England test team? Sorry, someone's lights have gone out now. Um, there we go. Um, I think that stems to a similar conversation that I think needs to happen further down the line. I think it's for the, the, envir the, the environment that they're coming from is not readying them well enough for test cricket. Um, and it's a very difficult place to, with, with everything that surrounds test matches and different conditions and environments, if you're not ready going into it, it makes it very difficult to, to improve in that environment. I'm hoping that somebody picked that up. Um, and the other question was, you talk about these last two matches being really important. I think what we saw there today was a team that really looks like they're on the floor. Um, they want to try and perform, but just can't. Um, how do you pick players up off the floor like that? Um, you'll need some pretty special man management skills. And, and as well, you need some strong inner belief from every single individual, I think. Um, sometimes it has to come from within. Um, we'll have to do everything we can um, in terms of, of supporting and making sure that we're readying everyone as best as you can. But ultimately, it's about um, it's got to come from within, within individuals. And, and, you know, like I say, being there for, for one another and making sure around the games, we're upskilling as much as we can. But um, you know, mentally, we, we just, we're very resilient and strong and, and show that character that you need to survive and, and thrive in Test cricket. It's clearly a problem with the uh, the technology in terms of the audio. We'll just take one more from Will Matt first, and then we're done. Go ahead, Will. Hi, Joe. Could I could I just ask you to reflect on your own year? Obviously, you've had a, a, a very good year with the bat, but no one else in the team has really. Uh, and, and and after winning the first three games, I think you've only won one of the last twelve. So, just uh, could you reflect on that? Please? Yeah, I mean, um, obviously, feel like I'm playing nicely at the minute. I'd, I'd swap it all for for Test match wins. No, it's, any player will tell you that there's no better feeling in cricket than winning a test match. 
Um, so it's it, it's been it's great to that. I feel like my game's improving and I'm evolving still as a player, even having played quite a lot of cricket. Um, and I'm, I'm desperate to keep doing that. Um, but it's um, you know it's, it's been a very tough year for a number of different reasons, and um, there's, there's still some some big challenges ahead. So it'd be you know a lot of focus and and drive has to be put towards that. Okay, I think we're done. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Danny.